Hey guys, welcome back to King's Outdoor Life, and we are indoors today, as you can see behind me. We are in the house remodel today. So I've been promising everybody locally here, that I know people all over the country, and several countries, believe it or not, when I look at my YouTube analytics, which is the website where I can go and see where my viewers are, people all over the world watch these videos. Crazy. I don't, I don't get it. But anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate you tuning in. But for my local friends and family, everybody's wanting to see an update. I was trying to get further along for an update, but it's time for an update. So anyway, thank everybody for asking and keeping up with the progress. So let's uh, turn the camera around and we'll give you an update today. So here's what you see when you walk in the front door now. Remember there used to be a wall there? And my mother-in-law and I had talked about taking that wall out for years. And she just... So no, no, it's too much trouble, it's too much trouble. Well, we did it. So those of you who in the UK knows she's proud now. And there's our new coat rack. How do you like that? Great place for a coat rack, right? One of the guys left their coats there. But anyway, um, that wall is gone. So now when you walk in the front door, you can see all the way through the house, through the dining room, all the way out to the pond out back. We'll give you a better look at that. I want to show you these pop-in lights now. The way these work, these can lights, they've got a little controller there where you wire it in, there's a switch. You can change the color on these, whether you want it to be a daylight color like I have it now, or a warmer tone. Let's see if I can turn this and change this. We're not just blinding you here. I'll change it to the warmer tone now. So you can see maybe now it's a more of a yellowish color. And then we can turn that so much to a to the more of the daylight colors. So anyway. Those are cool. We had to do a little patchwork around that hole this week, so I had that out. That'll be a good chance to show you those. But anyway, so the front window here, new trim around it. We put house casing around the front door and the front window just to bring it kind of up to the to speed. Here's the, the built-ins are already there. Just uh, right now, that's the, the workstation along with the paint station there. I've painted the mantle, fireplace. I guess the mantle's the wood part, right? Fireplace, the hearth, I painted that. Got two coats of that, thanks to Janet at Busy Bees for helping me pick out that color. The color on the walls, I've got one coat on most of the walls. If you can tell, it's hard to tell. It's kind of a grayish color. It's called Revere Pewter. And Janet at Busy Bees told me, take this same Revere Pewter, make it 75% darker, more tone to it, and that'll darken it up and also make it glossy there. So new house casing around the French doors. The dining room has been the catch-all for all the kitchen cabinetry, because what you can see is gone. So we put everything in the kitchen cabinets in the dining room now. We're sorting through that. And I had friends over here over the weekend, they were like, why did you keep that paneling? Everything in here is going to be covered with cabinets. So all the paneling, you will not see the paneling. Um, we've got new doors coming in for these two exit doors one that go into the garage. But there'll be an island. Let me come out of this one. Show there'll be an island sitting right here. So we're actually bringing it where the kitchen's going to come all the way out to even with the center of these doors. So where it was, you know, a good size kitchen before, it's gonna make the kitchen a whole lot bigger to bring it all the way out to here. So, um, new cabinets are coming soon. That's gonna be our biggest delay is with the kitchen cabinets, but uh, a lot going on there. And you know how everything goes these days. Everything takes a little longer. So cabinets going across here. Got it wired in for the dishwasher going here. Got my pot filler wired in there. I guess you don't wire in a pot filler, plumbed in. Range hood there for the range will sit here. There's the plug for the range. Had them bop out this wall for the refrigerator. The refrigerator always set out kind of too far. So by knocking that wall back a foot, we'll be able to recess the refrigerator and get it even with the cabinets and the range there. So into the laundry room here, got everything going on. I got the first coat of paint yesterday on these walls. So we got everything plumbed and ready for the dryer to go there, dryer vent, dryer plug, and there's the water for the washer. So I had to show you the view from the dining room. Oops, just knocked something over. 
the azaleas are doing their part right now. If you can see the azaleas, try to tilt it down and get different light there. Azaleas look as full as I've ever seen them and looking out over the lake. So this is one of the biggest reasons, you know, we want to live here. Just you can't pick a, you know, prettier setting than this, right? All right, let's go check out the bathrooms. So hall bathroom here, we've got it painted. The uh, Shiro guy touched up a few places for me there. He's fixed all of that where the mirror was. Got it ready for the new light fixture to go up. Big change here is coming in with granite and we're raising this up. So you can see there, we put that line in. I may put it on this video, they've already come and measured the template for the new granite that's going in. So that's gonna come in in the next couple days. I may put that template making video in this. So new paint all the way around. I got a new shower head extender to make this come up higher, a new shower head. There's the new shower uh, curtain rod. So we got everything going in here. So here's Kaylee's bathroom. This used to be the master bath downstairs. You can see the new tile there, the tile that's going on the curb. And this tile that's in here is on the floor. They've got that done. You can see the subway tile. Shane's working on it now. We had to go ahead and grout this bottom few runs here to make sure we liked how it was looking, make sure we had the right grout color and everything before they got too far off the wall. So that's looking great there. And we're excited about getting this done. All right, I pulled the plastic back in the laundry room because I wasn't thinking. You can't see these beautiful tile floors we did. You see there we got a sink stubbed in right over here. Where's my finger? Right there. That's for the sink in the laundry room. We're going to cabinets all down this wall. And like I said, the washer dryer over there. So anyway, I think I'll stop this for today. Thank you for watching. Click like, subscribe, share with a friend. One last shot of the view. If you come to the laundry room, just look outside this time of year, right? But uh, I'll put the granite template making video now. But that's the last you'll hear from me today. All right, thanks for watching. So what we're doing here, making a template for the granite in the bathroom. You see the light bulbs where I took out the light fixture. We patched around that and getting it ready to go. It's really cool to watch these guys that know what they're doing do their craft. He's going to get his pencil right now. That'll be a, that's a corner brace to brace that off there. What you doing with that square? Can't you just guess at it? Yeah. Now what's the, what are you, the inside measurement there? What is that? Four feet there. Uh -huh. Yeah, you gotta get your sink center so they know where it's centered to sink at. So what I'm doing is I mark it, it back in the cabinet and then I mark it on the temple. There you go. So when they cut that uh, sink hole before it even gets here, that's right, because they polish it. They're gonna use this. They'll mark it out, then they'll get the set back, and then they'll cut it out, and then they'll bring it and they'll install the sink here. So you glue the template down to the base. Mm -hmm. <laughs> glue it down to make sure it's stationary so it don't move. Makes sense. If it ever moves, then you know, mm -hmm. you're gonna be right. A little chilly this morning, didn't wanna warm up. Uh -uh.
So you use tape there to get you overhang at your, mm -hmm. it's an inch, inch and a half, or inch and a half? Inch and a half. Yeah. So I glue this on the front, you know, make sure I got an inch and a half, then I glue my sides on, and uh, you're done. And you gotta ride on it to, to make sure that they know. Same inch and a half overhang on this side here too? Or? Yeah, try to keep it consistent all the way around. This is just right. real close. Right. Right. No way you keep it consistent all the way around. All right, so he's got this all the way here. I don't think he has to cut off this little end here. It just, it just knows where it is. And he's gonna use his marker to get his uh, center of his sink. And I think he'll be done with this one. And we gotta do the ones upstairs. So what we did here, I'll show you this. The cabinet stopped here, and these old cabinets are like 30 inches. So we built it up four inches to get it to a more comfortable cabinet height. Everybody's taller than they were in the 60s when these cabinets were built. So you gonna mark your sink, center of your sink, is that what you're doing? Or? Yes sir. But I got a mark on it. Alright, W stands for wall, not west. Because yeah. there's not three west sides. <laughs> X stands for polish. not a wall, which means they're gonna polish the edges. That's the one inch radius. One inch radius, around off the end. All right, that's cool. I'm marking the center of your sink. And do you need to know now about the sink holes or y'all put the sink holes in when you come back? Do you got your faucets? Mm -hmm. I'll take a picture of your faucets. 10-4, all right, I'll get you the faucets, we're good to go.